Hello everyone and welcome. Yesterday I did a tutorial whereby I did a design in Photoshop and then showed you how to put it all together in Divi. So this was a pretty much a Photoshop and Divi workflow. Now I've had quite a few questions after that where people were asking me how to add a transparent header onto uh, Divi using our design. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how you achieve a transparent transparent header using Divi and also the best practices to make it really stand out. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. If you want to learn how to design graphics for your website and make them really look awesome, I have a course which has a limited discount. So head over to my website which uh, the information is in the show notes below and grab that offer. So this course is about Photoshop and how to optimize all your images, make them look great and professional, and then use these in your websites. Now, just to give you one example, if you were using your images straight from the camera or straight from your website where you buy or download your royalty-free images, this will definitely make your website slow. So in this course, I'll be showing you how to optimize your images to make your website faster. So check out the course, the link is in the description below. So here we are, I'm uh, on my landing page which we created yesterday, and if you want to see exactly how I managed to create this image in Photoshop, you have to watch the um, video that I created yesterday, which I'll link to in the show notes below. But today we are working on the header part of the website and make it transparent. Okay, so let's go in and fix that. So the first thing we want to do is to come over here to dashboard and then we want to come over here to DV and then theme customizer. Right, so in here, what you want to do is to come over here to header and navigation and then we want to go to primary menu bar. Okay, so this is this main primary menu bar. So you may want to do a bit of tweaks here, maybe increase the height a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to set it to about 104 or maybe even 102. Uh, and then you can adjust the logo height if you wanted to. And the text seems a bit small, so I'm just going to increase that to about, uh, let's say, 16. And then I'm going to make it all caps and add some letter spacing. Okay, so that looks much better now. So the main thing we're going to do here is to change or to make this color of our header area blend in with our main image. So that's a simple fix. All we have to do is to come over here to background color, click on that, and then just drag the slider all the way down. So you can see as I'm, scro uh, as I'm scrolling down, you can see the transparency is happening and also that top color has disappeared completely. Okay, so this looks great, but we can make it even look better by adding a shadow or making the, do uh, the top part of this image a bit darker. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now, we've made this top area transparent. It's good. I'm going to click on publish and then I'm going to close out of this. Right. So what I want to do now is to go to our main page. So I'm going to come back over here, click on visit site. So we can see that's the result. I'm going to click on enable visual builder. And then I'm going to come over here to my module settings click on background. So what we're going to do here is we are going to add a gradient. Okay, so I'm going to click this uh, gradient button, click this plus button here. So the top part, I'm going to make it black. And then uh, this uh, second color here, I'm just going to make that transparent like that. Now I'm going to come to this uh, third tab, which is the image. And then I'm going to change this blend mode to multiply. Okay, so right now, of course, we can see that everything has just gone really dark. So that's not what we're trying to achieve here. I'm going to come back over here to this tab. Now we can make all our adjustments. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the start position. So you can see here, if I, as I move the slider, I can actually adjust where this starts and also where it ends. So I'm going to bring this back up here to only affect the top like that. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. So that's about 38. In fact, let's just make it 40%. So this is where I'm going to leave it at. And then over here, you can adjust the color as well. So if, if uh, black is a bit too much, you can always reduce that by choosing your color over here. Okay. So in this case, we need some grays. So I'm just going to drag this like that because you want, to, you want this to be really subtle. You don't want to be, uh, you don't want to make it too much. Okay. So... I think that's fine. Okay, so I'm happy with this. I'm going to save now. 
So to make our text easier to read, we need to go back and fix that. So I'm going to save this for now. And then we're going to go back over here to our dashboard, click on Divi Theme Customizer. And then this is where we can make our adjustments. So I'm going to click on header and navigation, and then I'm going to come to our primary menu bar as we did before. So I'm going to make this font style bold. I think it's much better when it's bold like that. And then for our text color now, we want something that really stands out. So I'm going to select, uh, let's go with white. So now you can see that our background here is a bit dark, but by making this text a bit light, uh, uh, white, it, it really stands out and uh, your visitors to your website can really see where this navigation is and where the buttons are. And uh, if you also you want to add, let's say, a hover color, you can always go in here and add your hover color. But for now, I think this is uh, looking great. I can go ahead now and publish. So I'm going to hit publish. Now, there's one more thing that you may want to do here as well. You can see our logo is not uh, working well with this. So you need to have a logo which has a transparent background and is light enough to be able to be uh, read on this website. So again, this is something that I go through in my uh, Photoshop course. So um, if you want to learn how to do that, you can some sign up for my Photoshop course, which has a discount, uh, limited time by the way. So go ahead, sign up for that, and uh, you will know how to create those transparent logos. Right, so I'm done with this. I'm going to go ahead now and close here, and then I'm going to come back to my site. Okay, so let's say you want to use the other image that we used. Okay, same thing. I'm going to come here to enable Visual Builder. Click on my module settings, background, and this time I'm going to change this image and use the darker version. Upload an image. And you can see here that this has blended, blended in very, very well. So, in fact, I prefer this version, so I'm going to save. But the most important thing here is the header area now is transparent and our design is seamless. We don't have that white uh, background on our primary menu bar that we had before. So all you have to do now is to come in here and change the color of this text. So let's quickly do that. So I'm going to come here into my full header settings, click on design text. So I am going to go into my title text, change my color like that. Next, I'm going to choose my subhead text. Again, I'm going to change this color, make it much easier to read, like that. And pretty much that's all we need to do. I'm going to save, save the page, and exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. That's how you add a transparent background to your website in Divi. Okay, so today's tutorial is made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below.